Sorry, are you going through a really tough time or is something happening with you that you can't seem to let go? Um, maybe it's a financial issue and it's just got you so worried that you can't let it go. Or maybe somebody has betrayed you, a friend lied to you, uh, your spouse is being unfaithful at your work, they're doing things behind your back or something that makes you feel betrayed. There are other things too. Remember we talked about soul wounds. Well, maybe you've ran into people that have kind of touched on those soul wounds. Whatever it is, if you're not letting it go, if you're living in anxiety, you're not spiritually aligned where you're supposed to be. And it's only going to serve the purpose of lowering your vibration and making things worse. It's really kind of a, a catch-22, the way the universe is set up. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that we're lifted up at all times, even in hard times, which sometimes can be so hard because before you know it, you're obsessing or you just can't seem to, you just can't seem to get yourself to stop thinking about these things. So one thing I want you to do is I want you to realize that every negative thought is bringing down your vibration, every single one of them. So let's say that your friend betrayed you. Okay. And you're very hurt and you're heartbroken. And you've tried to talk to this friend and the friend is not responding. You can't have an honest, clear conversation. First things first, you should try to do that. You should try to have an honest conversation without fighting. And if that is, if that friend is unresponsive or whatever the case may be in any situation, if that's impossible, then what you want to do, I go back to my journaling. I think journaling is so important for a couple of reasons. Not only do you get it off your chest and if you're not the type of person that likes to write, I've had some students that really hate to write. You can do an audio blog. You can find a recording device and just record what you're thinking, right? I prefer to write because it helps me to release, but you want to have a recording of it. So whether it be written, whether it be verbal, whether you do a video blog, whatever it is, but your own personal thoughts, what happened, different things, because this is going to help you. So not only does it help you release, but it helps you to grow. As you grow, you can look through these things and it helps to remind us of how supernaturally things really do happen. Because when you get caught up in a negative, you're going to start believing that there's no help out there, that you're all alone, that you can't manifest, that nothing spiritual happens, that kind of stuff. So it's kind of a reminder that miracles happen, that you can manifest, that when you raise your vibration, things change. Now, obsession, anxiety is never a good thing. We are built with um, a warning device almost. So not all anxiety is bad. I mean, if you have, a, it's natural anxiety. Like if you have to speak in front of a group of people, you're going to have a little bit of anxiety. If something is wrong around you, if you're walking down a dark street and there's somebody on the other side of the road that's dangerous, you're going to have that anxiety. If somebody is betraying you, you may feel that anxiety. Learn to know that there is a healthy part of us and read that, follow it, go with your gut. Okay. But if it goes beyond that point and you find yourself constantly thinking about this, or even if it's something you desire, if it's a relationship you desire and you're obsessing over it, it's not healthy. It's lowering your vibration. And what happens energetically is when we become obsessed with something, <coughs> excuse me, the way the universe is designed is we actually repel exactly what we want. So say you want that perfect job and you put it out there, you are confident, you've done the interview, all of that, and you haven't heard from anybody. And now you find yourself obsessing over it. You want to call every day. You check, you drive by the workplace every day. You know, you find yourself obsessing. Now you're actually energetically repelling that from you. So even if it was supposed to be yours, you, you have, by that obsession, created these blocks. So what you need to do is put out there what you want. Now, okay, if this is a situation where somebody hurts you, this is going to be the hard part. I know nobody wants to do this. But the best thing that you can do 
first of all, is you want to cut any kind of cords that you may have with that person. Um, every Anytime we're in a relationship, we develop cords. Now, this can happen in friendships, work relationships, um, husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. The cords get deeper. They're like fish hooks, especially if you have physical intimacy with this person. That's why it's so dangerous to just sleep around. Energetically, it's dangerous. Physically, we know the dangers, but... Um, so you get these hooks and they hook in. So if the person that has betrayed you, the closer they are, the deeper the hooks, you want to go around and you want to actually let loose of these hooks. And the way that you do that is you close your eyes, you take some deep breaths, you raise your vibration. And remember to raise your vibration, it's just a few deep breaths. And I like to just go, lift my hand up, 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 and bring it down. Bring it down. I have another um, few exercises on. I'm not going to waste time. I don't want this video to be too long. But on raising the vibration, some people actually get up on their tippy toes and then come down. But if you can get your heart rate down and get your mind clear, you are literally raising your vibration. Okay? Because you need to be in a calm place. You And energetically, just imagine your energy just lifting up. Okay? Then you want to send out love. I know, I know. You're like, what? I don't want to send out love. They've hurt me. But as sincerely as you can, send out love. Send out love to these people. Envision coming from you to them, white light, pink light, surround them in love. If you need to forgive them, forgive them. Remember, forgiveness is not a feeling. Forgiveness is an action. So even if you don't feel it, put it out there. I forgive you for hurting me. I call upon God to let God take it, okay? So I call upon God. I ask you to take care of this situation, Lord. I stand in love, okay? So that takes the responsibility off you to get back at them or to make the truth come to light or whatever. Let him take care of it because you know what's happening? As you're obsession, it's, uh, obsessing, it's killing you. You're actually setting up a resistance to what you want. You don't want any of that just because you want to stay angry with them. I understand you've been hurt. Believe me, I get that. But if you want to get out of it, this is about you getting better, not about them getting theirs. And they will get theirs, okay? And then you want to go in and as your vibration is raised, just envision Envision your, your spirit body, and you could be wrong. Believe me, there's no right or wrong, okay? Just envision yourself. Ask, can you show me where the hooks are? Usually, if it's somebody that you've had um, sexual intimacy with, the hooks will be in the lower chakras, could be in the heart chakra, could be in the head, in the um, third eye chakra. Um, so try to pull them. And like I said, you can cut them, but if there's hooks in there, you want to pull the hooks. Sometimes you can actually physically feel this. If you feel like you can't do it on your own, call out to somebody who works in energy. I do this. I can pull hooks. I can even do it uh, from a distance. So just call me and I'll help you with it. Um, get the hooks out. Send forgiveness out. Try to send love out. And then I want you to, and as you're doing all of this, your vibration is rising. Take some deep breaths, stay still, and now I want you to envision your happiness. So if somebody betrayed you, you're, if you still want to be with that person, then the two of you are happy. If you don't, you're happy on your own. Don't worry about them. Picture where you are. Happiness, the ultimate, you know, the ultimate outcome that you want. Picture it in your head. If any negative thoughts come in with this, the way to get rid of a negative thought is to speak out a positive word. So if a negative thought comes in, say something quickly like, I am manifesting the perfect outcome. And each time you speak a positive word, that thought has to stop. And eventually you can just take it, throw it out. Okay. And if you have to do that a hundred times a day, do it. This stuff might sound hokey to some, but it actually works, okay? It's going to get you past this thing and get you to where you need to be without all the chaos, without all the, the junk building up in your in your aura. And then, so you've got this envisioned in your head. Stay with it, okay? Seven seconds, seven seconds, seven seconds. So take a deep breath in, hold it, 
for at least four to eight seconds and then release slowly. Hold the release for four to eight seconds. Breathe in while you're envisioning this, okay? You've got your vision. Now you want to be grateful. Thank you so much to the universe, to God, for bringing this to pass. This or better. So that's where you let go of the control. You say this outcome or better. I totally trust you. Then take it. I'm holding the phone with one hand, so I can't use both hands. But take it as if you're holding it, your vision. Take it and hold it in your hand like a ball. You're holding a ball, and inside is the vision. Feel it. Feel the ball in there. And then I just want you to toss it. Just toss it. Toss it out to the universe. Totally totally believing that it's going to come pa come to pass. And as you toss it, thank you once again with total love and forgiveness. I thank you for the positive outcome, the positive results of what I envisioned or better. And then try to just let it go. And I know it's hard to let things go when you're really being hurt, but do this exercise three, four times a day, as many times as you feel you have to. And believe me, it'll work. You'll get through it. I've been through some really, really tough stuff, and I'm not going to get into it. But this is the way to get out of it. I'm telling you, to live in anger and vengeance and unforgiveness, it's not hurting the other person. It's hurting you. And not only is it hurting you by building all this poison inside of you, but it's actually resisting what you want, the desired outcome. And you're blocking the good things from coming to you. You're going to find that you're calling into your life more of the same. And you'll be like, what happened? Well, that's what it is. It's energy. There's also spiritual attacks and there's stuff like that. But I'm just talking strictly just us and what we're doing. I hope this helps you. I hope you have a great night. And I'm here if you need me, if you want energy work, if you need prayer, whatever it is. If you want to sign up for one of the programs, message me. All right, you guys have a great night.